So that's what we're doing. So this is, I am not like the DIY queen. I am not the girl for it. It's not my thing. I would rather just grab things and have them already made. But I know that finances are tight this year. I know that people are having issues and I want to be able to help you to be able to pull it all together and be able to share our Young Living because Young Living products are so amazing. Hang on, my granddaughter's at my office door. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Gigi's doing a video. You could stay in if you want. Um, anyway, so I just want to help you kind of pick up some different ideas and things you can do. But we are talking about ways that I DIY. So I'm going to go over some of those. So this is what you got to understand when it comes to our oils. Like this right here, this is a 15 mil bottle of essential oil. This is Christmas spirit. You guys smell my Christmas spirit? It is, is it delicious? It's delicious. It's amazing. And in this beautiful bottle, there's approximately 250 drops of essential oils. So what does that mean? Approximately. So each oil, depending on the viscosity or the texture of that oil, there's a few different amounts of drops, the actual drops. So Christmas spirit is a really thin oil. So you get a lot of drops. You get 250 or so drops in here. But if you use something like vetiver, vetiver is a sticky oil. As a matter of fact, for most people, when they're using vetiver, they have to actually pop this little lid part off and be able to get it that way because it's a really thick oil. So you don't get quite the same amount of drops. But understand, that means like if you were doing a roller blend, so you're making a blend for a friend and you're going to share your Christmas spirit. Most roller blends only need about 20 drops of essential oil. And then you put V6 or whatever carrier oil you have in that blend. So it makes 20. For bath salts, if you're going to make bath salts, it's anywhere between 15 and 30 drops of essential oil that you would put bath salts in. You'd put them in a small container like this, put the bath salt, put your oil, and it emulsifies it so that those oils don't just float on top of the water. It gets it through there. So you use Epsom salt and then you use those essential oils in there. A room spray typically is 15, maybe 20 drops. And you're mixing that with witch hazel or Celtic salt to spread that around in water and it's a spray or a diffuser bomb. That's like eight drops. And they got these oh, adorable, oh, I'm talking on the computer. See my video in the corner? I know it doesn't look like it because there's a uh, different picture on the screen, huh? Yeah, but I'm just talking to my friends. My friends online. Yeah. So when, uh oh, we moved. When you're thinking about the cost effectiveness of using your essential oils for gifts, understand you're going to get so many out of this one bottle, you can get 15 to 20 roller blends or room sprays or diffuser bombs that you would be able to get. And then the idea is you're going to take those and it's all about the packaging. So it is taking them and putting them in really cute little containers and putting them in um, baskets and going to the dollar store and getting all the pieces to turn them into this awesome, amazing gift. So most of you guys probably have oodles of oils that you have gotten for free from Young Living that maybe you don't even use or you've gotten oils that you're like, this one isn't doing what I thought it would do for me. And you've gotten something else in place of it. All of those are phenomenal ideas to use to make your blend. So I don't have any recipes in this conversation we share today. I don't have any recipes because you can Google and find oodles of different recipes for blends and rollers and the different things. I just want to give you some ideas on ways to put them together and package them and understand that, you know, it's a $20 bottle of oil that you're able to get 20 or so gifts. And then you got some roller bottles or the cute little um, packaging that you're going to put them in. So when you're trying to figure out ways to, if you want to just gift oils, single oils, we have a ton of single oils that are $10 and under. But again, it's all about the packaging. Can I have one of those stuffies real quick? So you can take a cute little stuffy that you get from the dollar store. And of course, my stuffy now, it's a gingerbread guy, right? So technically he should smell like ginger, but I'm not a big fan of ginger. So instead I use my Christmas spirit. And so I would go under his little hat. Let me show you. So I would go under his little hat so it doesn't stain him. And I would put some of the oil right under the hat. So now my beautiful little stuffy that I would share as a gift 
Does that smell amazing now? Because it smells like Christmas spirit, right? But you can package. So you could get one of the little um mesh bags. They got those tiny ones. There's you can get like a hundred for like five, ten bucks, right? And then you can hang the little mesh bag right on here with a roll on for a kid, a blend that you made. And this is an adorable little gift that now has been elevated because you put one of those cute little roll-ons on it. But when you look at our kit, this is the best bang for your buck as far as getting oils to do as giveaway. So we're just going to talk about our fresh festive starter bottle. I've got a couple that I'm going to talk about. But one of the oils in that kit is Believe Essential Oil. Believe is absolutely dynamite. It is dynamite. How old am I? It is a beautiful aroma and it's a 15 mil. So that's when you can get that 15 to 20 different blends, bottles, roll-ons out of it, or it can be in a uh, blender. I'm not a blender, a diffuse blend. You can do all kinds of different things with it, but it also has bergamot 15 mil. It's got a five mil of your vanilla. It's got that Christmas spirit, the five mil of Christmas spirit, a 15 mil of your grapefruit. It's got peppermint and lemon and lime. All of those oils individually would be phenomenal gifts. You could put them in one of those cute little bags. You could put the little fluff and stuff in there. You could put some stickers. You could put different things in. It's a great gift on its own. Or you can break them apart and turn them into a bunch of different roll-ons, a bunch of different stuff that you can use as giveaways. But you know why these are such a good deal? There's 10 things in this kit, including a Thieves, a full 14 ounce Thieves cleaner and a dewdrop diffuser. If you wanted to gift all of these individual, this is, I'm giving them the whole bottle of oil. I'm not even making anything for that. They're only $13 a piece because the whole kit is only $130. There's 10 things in there. What a phenomenal deal. You could keep the diffuser for yourself. You could keep the face for yourself. Or you could take that thieves and make 14 individual spray bottles and then you're going to package it, package it with some little scrubbies for cleaning your sink and you got the thieves cleaner and you've got the direction for how you would use thieves. And for me, gifting my oils is gifting people something they, they want, they would love to try, but it's not something they're going to grab on their own. So it's just a great thing that you can do, especially if you've got somebody that's um, new to their own house or they got a new apartment, that type of a thing. You can make a whole cleaning set with that. I'm just saying you could turn that particular kit. I was figuring it out 30, 60. It's like 80 different gifts that you could make out of just that one kit. I'm just saying. So you could maybe give somebody the bottle of Christmas spirit with the diffuser and that be one gift. And then you could gift the other. So I'm just saying lots of options. And that's just with the fresh and festive. Then we, I know you love the smell of that one. She's over here smelling the, um, I don't know if you can hear her sniffing, the pink champagne. It is one of the Christmas collection, the Simplified by Jake and Kate. And she loves that oil. Every time she gets to pick which oil is going in my diffuser, it is the pink champagne. It is her favorite. Although she likes the candy cane one too. Um, but the Golden Touch Kit collection, this is another one that is phenomenal because it's giving you such a wide variety. You're getting from Melrose, a Raven, RC, Digize, Endoflex, Juvaflex, and Thieves. And these are wonderful to have as your own first aid kit in your home. Again, it's 103 bucks. You're getting like seven, eight different oils that you can break up so you can give them individuals gifts. Or I think this is such a fun idea. Out of a five mil, you can get about five different either roll-ons or sprays, whatever you're going to do with them. And you can legitimately make first aid kits so that you got some mama families. You can get a tiny little container at the um, dollar store and you can make individual first aid kits. I just think it's such a cute way to be able to, again, make that go so much further and be able to gift people. So it doesn't even have to have all of the oils in there. You could gift it with a few of the oils and then put cotton balls. You could put just different things in there to turn it into a complete gift. So it's all about the baggage. It's all about what you're putting with it, the baskets you're putting it in and just making it look super cute and using what you have. Then our everyday oil collection, this is the OG collection. This is 10 singles and 10 blends. So again, this one is one that you can use just a minute, baby. This is one that you can break into a whole bunch of pieces, but it, it turns into just $15 a bottle. So this is one you could take like that lemon and that peppermint and you can put them with some cute little um, cooking things. So you could get your little pack to cook once together and it could be a little cooking gift. You can put a couple of recipes in there. There's just different things that you can do using what we already have. You can make some stress away roll-ons. You know your friends need a little bit of stress away or some joy or some 
just the things, just the things that you could do. And they're so inexpensive when you do it that way, it makes it more cost effective. I'm just saying. So now I want to think outside the bottle. Let's, let's take just the plain old bottles. We're going to move those to the side for a minute and let's talk baking. You know, I have said this before and I'll say it again. Brian keeps saying you have to stop saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it. You do not get to be over 400 pounds and not love cooking. I love cooking. I love baking. I love the whole process of it. I love creating. And there are so many amazing gifts that you can do that you can do with our, using our products and cooking. I like our chocolate orange nut clusters. So we take, um, let me see, I can't even get it. Okay. So we'll do, cause you know, everybody wants their sweet treats at Christmas time. So in the container, we would have the stuffy that she already took out. So you got the little stuffy in here and it smells delicious, right? But then we add sweet treats to it. So this right here, this is my einkorn macadamia nut cookies. So typically, hang on one second, it would have an adorable little ribbon around this and it would be all fancy and pretty, but I couldn't find my ribbon anywhere. So we Christmased it up the best we could, but it's just a wide mouth jar. And then it's got my cookies in here. And what I would do, is have that pretty ribbon on here. And then it would have the recipe that it would have exactly how they would make if they wanted to turn around and make these. And yes, I know you're going to ask for the recipes. Those will all be on my website today. So I'm going to share this PowerPoint so you can turn around and share it as well. So this is one of the gifts. You could also do the um, chocolate chip cookies. You could do whatever cookies you want. I love mason jars. You can get them really inexpensive. But then we also have these. This is what I went in here for. Again, imagine it has a pretty ribbon on it because it looks so much cuter. But it would have the recipe. And these are our chocolate orange nut clusters. And all we do for these, these are uh, perfectly healthy. So we use whichever kind of nut we want. I believe these ones were pecans that we used. So we soaked our nuts first in water with um, Celtic sea salt. Then we dried them out. And then um, we just chop them up finely. I like big pieces. As you can see, it's got big old chunks of nuts in there. And then what we do is we add uh, chocolate, but it is the actual dark chocolate. So it doesn't have any sweetener in it. So we add stevia and orange. So you know those little orange balls that you can break and they taste like orange chocolate? That's kind of what these are, but it's chocolate. And so it's a great stocking stuffer because it gives that sweet. People are used to having all the candy and all the garbage, but we can make that healthy. You can also do my uh, Wolfberry Walnut Bites. They are phenomenal and they are so easy and it's sweetened with dates and they're delicious. And they're, um, you've probably seen recipes for them all over the place. It's, it's using dates and fruits and you just make them all together and the recipe will be on there. But it's packaging. So you can get a thousand gorgeous little containers at the dollar store. It doesn't cost very much, but it can introduce people to the healthier foods so they can try it. You can do, where did the almonds go, baby girl? Here we go. These are famous for these. These are our cinnamon almonds. So, you know, when you go to um, the mall and you smell that yummy cinnamon smell from all these different stands where they're selling the um, sugar covered almonds and stuff, the, the roasted um, we do that ourselves. We soak our almonds and then we roast them in a pan with some butter. And we add to that um, monk sweetener. That's the one that seems to work the best for us. And they get that crystallized yumminess. But to that, we add whatever flavors. I'm a big cinnamon girl this time of year. So I put a whole lot of cinnamon in there and we roast them out. Then we let them dry and they make perfect gifts. I've never had somebody go, no, no, don't give me the nut clusters. No, no, don't give me cinnamon raisins. That looks very cute. Thank you, baby. So uh, people love it. Peppermint nut bark, super easy to make peppermint nut bark. And it's just like, you've seen the recipes for it, but it's just adding our oils to it and going with the healthier chocolate. So you're not doing the pre-sweetened chocolate with all the garbage in it. You're doing just a nice, healthy, dark chocolate, which is so good for your health anyways. And it really gives you that satisfied feeling. And then like our einkorn chocolate chip cookies, those are a great one that you can do. And all of these are made with einkorn. If you are not familiar with our einkorn and how important it is for digestive health, it is something you're going to want to check into because it is so good for your gut. It feeds your gut. But all of these, it's about the packaging. It's about how do you put it together? So like the cookie recipe, you could just do it. You know, you have seen these and we used to do this in the olden days. We used to make things for our friends. We can go back to doing that. So if you don't want to do all the baking, 
let's put it together in a mason jar, make it look pretty. I'm saying it's all about the packaging. It's all what you do. So if you're using avocado brownies or you're doing anything like that, just make it look pretty. Share it with people. Give them the recipe so they know what you're putting in their mouth. And again, packaging. So another thing I like to do is I like to take things like the einkorn flour, something that somebody wants to try, but they haven't gotten it yet, but they think they might like it but you partner it with. So you could use the cute little utensils and get a mixing bowl and then give them a bunch of the recipes. I, the recipes are gonna be on the website on cute little cards. So you can turn around and use those and just print them out. Cause I have them like here, this is my einkorn biscuit recipe. And it's a take on um, two ingredient dough. If you're familiar with that, it's Greek yogurt and the einkorn flour, but I add a little bit of baking powder to get a little fluff to it. And I put that salt in there. This is also what I use if I'm going to do like a dumpling or um, we're making actually leftover turkey. So we're almost done with that. Um, but we're taking the turkey soup I made yesterday and we're going to turn it into turkey pot pies today. And this is the recipe that I use to do that. So I just dump the pickles on top of it and I bake it. And it just gives that wonderful feeling, but you could literally give somebody the einkorn flour, some cute little utensils, and a couple of recipes. So we have like our banana pecan bread. You can actually, this is also the zucchini bread. This is also, I just switch out the flavor of the, whether it is using bananas or it's using zucchini. It looks so nice. Thank you, princess. So there's lots of different things that you can do. And then like for your pizza lovers. So Pizza lovers, listen, this is my two ingredient dough, but I add the spices to it. So it's got Italian seasoning and garlic powder. I also add a teaspoon, not a teaspoon, do not add a teaspoon of oregano vitality, but you use a toothpick and you put a little bit of oregano vitality in the yogurt before you mix it in. It is delicious. You can do the same thing with thyme vitality. So yummy. You pre-cook it a little bit and then you put your toppings. It's delicious. And you can partner it with some garlic sticks and listen, it is the same base recipe. So that two ingredient dough, um, you're going, you can double it. So if you're gonna have pizza and garlic sticks with that, you just double it and there you go. And you just add different seasonings to it. What you doing, baby? Can't go over there right now, I'm sorry. And then um, like the cookie recipe, but these, you can print out all of them and you can use them and share them and put them on tags. Just a minute, you have to wait. And then, um, so other things that you can do. So. I like to get, would you like down? Is that what you want? Okay. So I like to grab this. This is our huge einkorn berries. It is five pounds of einkorn berries. And so what you can do with this, most people that want to try the einkorn, they're not sure exactly where to go with it. Hang on. I'm going to switch over here. So you get the big one. And what you can do is you can put these into those pretty containers. It takes about two cups of the einkorn berries to make about four cups of flour. So you can divvy this up and get them a grinder so that they have a, a food and they're, they're cheap. I'm talking the little um, grinder that you would use for coffee. You can get them for 15, 20 bucks and you partner those two together with some recipes so that they can go in and make their own and play with the berries and see how easy is I think people think it's harder than it really is so get a cute little basket with the wood berries in it put the recipes in there what a wonderful gift with that grinder to be able to do you can do the same thing okay so this one is going to seem weird Brian says I'm crazy I think this is a great idea so our einkorn granola and our um cornflakes that we have are delicious like delicious so good but again sometimes people are nervous to try stuff so it's something they may not get for themselves so grab one of these, get one of the big cereal bowls that are adorable holiday cereal bowls, stick this inside it, put some wolf berries with it, put a cute spoon with it, put the plastic around it. So stinking cute. You can also add to it the recipe we have for, um, uh, we use the, the cereals to do different breading and stuff. So you can put those in there with it. So there's lots of different ideas. Make sure, you know, when you're out there doing your shopping, you grab some stuffies because you can add, you know, these, these are a dollar, put the oils on them, put them together. They're great kid gifts. You can put those together with some of the little stockings and the different oils that you can do. There's just so many quick, easy things that you can do. So there's lots of ways to throw together all of those great stockings. You can even, are you ready? Here's my other weird one that I thought was weird. So for those, those people that love the stuff, so you can use the recipe for the um, garlic stick and you can give them some einkorn spaghetti and you can give them 
an oregano vitality with the recipe on how to make the sauce. And you can put it with one of the either a uh, spaghetti strainer or the one that measures it, the little device for measuring it or scooping it, or just use your imagination. Go to the dollar store and say, okay, who am I shopping for? What do they like? How can I make that better? <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's streamed the right way. We will chat with you later.